How's it going everyone? Mitch here with another series. This is going to be the start of a new series titled Logic Pro 9 Tips and Tricks. And the main reason why I'm starting a new series is because some of the things that I have that I'm going to be showing you, I really don't have a name for. And um, they really are labeled as tips and tricks because they're just little elements that you would find in certain techno, dubstep, um, house, um, and I might even go into uh, you know rock, metal, um, something like that. So um, today is going to be more of a just electro techno um, transition elements in general that um, you can use in a lot of different things. All right, and if I had to classify it, I would say more of a roll in or riser transition awesomeness. All right. Um, let me play this little clip. It's going to be right here. What I want you to be listening for is this um, roll in right here. Um, it's going to give it a very nice transition from this beginning part to this second part. Uh, let's take a listen. Oh, come on. Come on. Beautiful, okay? Let me solo it out and let you listen to it by itself. Great. Now, on to how I did it, okay? I am showing you I I'm showing you this in general just because I don't I don't know anyone um that does this the exact same way. So um, I came up with this on my own, I randomly stumbled upon it, and I'm going to show you, because it's such a great idea, okay? So, as you can see, it says orchestral kit right here. Hey Mitch, why does it say orchestral kit? Well, you shut your whore mouth, because I am going to show you why it says orchestral kit. I'm going to start a new channel, software instrument, boom, EVP88, electric piano, like a bouse. But instead of that, I'm going to come down to drums and... No, I'm not. I'm going to come down to orchestral. And then I'm going to go to percussion. And then I'm going to go to percussion kit. And I have the percussion kit loaded. Now, you might be asking why I have percussion kit loaded. Well, check this out. In this percussion kit, I there is a very, very nice um, sample, audio... I don't know what you want to call it, but it's a symbol that's like like a rolling symbol that goes on for a very long, very long time. And I think it's specified by you, however long you want to be holding that button down. So, um, I believe it's in the fourth octave if you press caps lock and it's going to be T, no, it's going to be Y. Yep, that's it. Okay, so all I all I did was I recorded a very very long string of this um, this roll and just cut it, made it perfect on both sides, so it will start. And I turned up the velocity too. Very good thing to note. If I turn the velocity up, it's going to be a little bit more sharp and a little bit more um, direct, and that's what you you want. Alright, um, then I, on the channel, I took off the EQ and the, um, the reverb on it and put on just a single overdrive, okay? This overdrive, as you can see in the settings here, is just going to give me more of a little bit, um, it's going to take the uh, orchestral um, kit cymbal roll out of it and it's going to bring it to a more um, electric... Um, synthetic sounding um, riser, I guess, roll in that will help you more in electro. It'll sound better in your techno song. So, and, and the main, and another main reason why I use this was to get a little bit of gain and kick it up, kick the volume up just a little bit. So there you are. And then it turns out I automated the volume to, to increase to a certain volume, and this certain volume you want to make sure uh, mixes with the rest of your elements. You don't want it to be too loud, you don't want it to be overpowering by any means, you want it to be more in the background, and you want it to kind of 
lead the rest of the instruments into a new section. And that's what I did right here. And in this specific one, I faded out uh, just because I felt that sounded good. But easily enough, you can increase it and then cut it off directly. And uh, this is also good in some transitional situations. All right? So there you are. It's very easy. Orchestral kit, rolling cymbal, add a little bit of overdrive, automate the volume, and for whatever reason it may be, I you get a great sounding um, transition that you can use in any of your techno songs. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed this little, little tip here by your own Mitch Pigsley. So, um, hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, give me some feedback on this if I should continue these kind of tutorials slash, you know, tips and tricks. So, um, give me a thumbs up, send me a message, put something in the comments, favorite, you know how to do it, you know how to do it, let me know. Peace out everyone.